Game number six on the season. First of the year with Rory Harmon. Vic Schaefer overall, 52 and 20 as head coach of the Longhorns this year. Texas averaging about 70 points per game under Coach Schaefer. And coming off a season high, 23 assists against Rutgers. And we are underway here from the Moody Center. Princeton on the season, number 23 in the nation in, block, in blocks per game. And averaging nearly 65 points per contest. Missing from the outside was Gray Stone, the senior. And back the other way comes Texas. Starting lineup for the Longhorns, Armin, Morris, Moore, Gonzalez. There is Aaliyah Moore driving to a right, and Texas gets the first points of the game. Princeton had a suffocating defense a year ago, holding opponents to right around 50 points per game. Right now, that number's up by 10. Opponents scoring up 60, 61 points per contest. Shot clock at 5. They throw it down low to Paige Morton. Two Longhorns in front. Harmon, the sophomore from Houston, worked on bulking up a little bit in the offseason. And improving her shot, Texas turns that one over. We're going to see Aaliyah Moore back the other way comes Princeton. And you see that help side defense from Princeton. Both of these teams, it starts with defense every day in practice, and it extends to the game. Caitlin Chen, Tigers' leading scorer, misses high off the glass. There's Sonia Morris, the transfer from DePaul, leading the Longhorns in scoring this year, just under 13 points per game. Harmon scoping out the defense. Taylor Jones is off to a tremendous start from first year with the Longhorns. Shot clock under 10. Moore in the corner. Driving into the paint. Throws one up and one! Eye on the perimeter and is able to put it on the floor. Very, very mobile. A terrific screen there by Taylor Jones. And one of the things that Moore does so well is she gets up underneath the armpit of the defenders. Really, really hard to defend her from that position. Leah Moore already this year is a double-double against Marquette and also poured in 21 points against Louisville. 73% free throw shooter. Texas up by five early. Princeton using multiple offensive players to bring the ball down the court. The foul meanwhile on Shaley Gonzalez, the grad transfer from BYU. And immediately Gonzalez comes out of the game replaced by Shea Holly. Shay Holly is one of those players that just is, you put her on the court, it seems like everything good happens. You have positives all over the place. There you go. There you, you go. <laughs> Turnover forced by Holly and the Horns. Should be the name of the song. That group so far. Jones underneath, bobbles it, loses control. There's a turnover by Texas. Caitlin Chen gives it up to Julia Cunningham. Holly right in her face. Down low they go, Morton with the miss. Jones hustles for the board, Princeton still over from the field. And the pace is much faster with Roy Harmon in the game. You see them get the ball down the floor. Harmon misses on that attempt. Expect a little rust, obviously, considering first game of the year. The fog's still in the arena yes. from the, uh, the introductions. Before the game, some of the Princeton players were wincing because there was so much smoke and fog. Perfect defense by Texas. Yeah, shot clock winding down. That one off the glass for the board by Gray Stone. Driving is Cunningham. Another miss by Princeton early on. 0 for 5 from the field. Shot clock at 5 in the corner. Morris heaves one up. Looked like it was going to drop. It did not, but there's Jones with the board. And that's the thing with Jones is she is so long on the interior. All she has to do is put her arms up and gains a huge advantage. Harmon takes a spill. They play on. De Gaston, by the way, on the floor for the first time today for Texas. Harmon gets it to go. Got bumped in the face yeah. as well, trying to yeah, it's nothing. shake it off. <laughs> Another turnover forced by Texas. 2-1 back the other way. Holly goes glass. 
Uh, she was a scorer, somebody they could rely on to get points on the board. And this team returns a lot of players, but still trying to kind of make things work here early on. Well, and I know if you're a Texas fan, you're looking at the standing and saying, wait a minute, they start off three in the nation. They dropped three of their first five. What's going on? Well, what's going on is they didn't have Rory Harmon, and that just absolutely Correct. changes everything. Correct, and that's a nice look. 14, 14 and a half turnovers for contest. She's watching Ellie Mitchell against Jones down low. She's just got her body into her, not giving her any space. Moore pulls up in the paint. You mentioned Ellie Mitchell. One for six. Morris with a miss. That's a good look right there for Sonia Morris in the dribble drive offense. Just couldn't get it to go down. Chen to a wide open. Cunningham in the corner. Leave the Princeton player. Princeton guards alone on the perimeter. Harmon over to Sonia Morris, down low to D. Gaston. Still trying to get going this year. It's a good way to start. Chen heaves up a wild <laughs> shot. Moore turns it back over. Love that Princeton wears those knee pads. They get on the floor quickly, easily. They aren't, aren't afraid to go after basketballs. Cunningham goes around D. Gaston. Baseline, back out wide to Chen. Fires one up and drills it. With that athleticism of hers. Had a lot of foul trouble this year. It's Gaston. Meanwhile, Leah Moore. Cunningham over to Chet Nowecki. Into the corner. Madison St. Rose. It's a dangerous three-point shooter. Out wide, Caitlin Chen. Two freshmen going at each other right there. Chet Nowecki left all alone and buries in the top. Having an impact out there today in game number six. Morris goes behind her back, twirling around. Harmon drive into the hoop now. Somehow finds D. Gaston who gets it to fall. That's a terrific class. Morton getting the chance to take a break on the bench and Parker Hill coming in for Princeton on the inside. Chen fires one from downtown and connects again. Might be tentative to shoot the ball after having this happen against Taylor Jones. Three years ago, Taylor Jones set the Oregon State single-season blocks record with 60 on the year. Morris left all alone. However, we do have a foul down low. The whistle down low when Morris had the ball up high. They're going to call a timeout and hopefully we'll figure out what's going on here. So sorry to bring you back late. The action. Rory Harmon firing one up. Andrew, what was the official ruling? <laughs> Has yeah, everything got cleared up for the, the break? Place. Five to play in the half. Texas shooting 50%. Princeton 25. Remember the Tigers trailed big early from the corner. Cunningham bounced around twice and out. Who does this game favor right now? The pace. Well, I think right now Texas hasn't been able to put a nail in the coffin really for this first half and really letting Princeton hang around. Drawing fouls, getting to the free throw line uh, on the offensive end. She could always score. Doing that very well this year. Made a couple of free baskets so far. Two free throws made. Now, Princeton right now 5 for 21 from the field against this Texas defense, which was a little too aggressive there. Foul on Rory Harmon. That's her second. I think they love it. They can move back to the 2 and 3 guard. Much less responsibility as far as handling the basketball. So let's see what Princeton can do. Morris, defender fell down over to Taylor Jones. That one deflected. Moore taps it. Gonzalez, five on the shot clock. Tigers are going to have to hurry off the inbound from Chen. They give it back to her. The Tigers' leading scorer gave it up, and that is going to be a shot clock violation. Morton never looked up at the clock. Gives a shove. Sonia Morris yeah. and a whistle. I would be telling my teammates, you need to get your head up and get me the basketball. She is such a big target down low. That is a huge third foul against the nation's leading rebounder, Ellie Mitchell, who heads to the bench. Two rebounds, no points in 12 minutes. And she looks a little bit frustrated out there. She is super competitive. Princeton having to work extremely hard to get a field goal held without one over their last four minutes. Chen nice. driving. Great pass down low. Caitlin Chen doing it all. Gray Stone finishing. Plenty of time. Ali dishing to Morris. Left all alone. Seems surprised by it at first, but makes Princeton pay. Yeah, Princeton has gotten a hand in all of the shooters' faces as they come down the other way. Cunningham. No. Aliyah Moore. 
off the front of the iron. You got to make that if you're going to take that shot. Make the defense work harder than that. Cunningham weaving her way through the defense. Passes it out wide. That one deflected. A lot of contact right there by Nueke, who took it to the paint. Texas continues to feed Aaliyah Moore, and that'll be an offensive foul on the sophomore. Ray Stone trying to get past Holly, who's been terrific on the defensive end for Texas. Princeton working it around. Cunningham, no good from downtown. Morris baseball pass. Cunningham got in the way. Gaston tried to come up with it. And a whistle on Princeton. Texas nearly perfect from the line today. Six for seven. Which is something Texas struggled with last year. Elite eight game. I think free throws really sunk Texas as giving, not giving them the chance to stay close enough to Stanford and be able to take a win away. Looking good today from the charity strike. Gaston now two for two there. Final 30 seconds of the first half. Princeton got within three. But the Longhorns trying to at least keep it a nine-point game. And Vic Schaefer asking Shaley Gonzalez to get off of Chen right here. Give her some room until the shot clock winds down. Chen launches one, strong off the iron, bounces around three or four times, no good. Cunningham, no! So we will head to the locker room with Texas holding a 29-20 lead. Yeah, for, for Princeton, they are just hanging around but haven't been able to see the ball go in. Vic Schaefer has to be happy with a lot of the defensive presence in the quarter court situation that his team has had. Longhorn shot 48% in the first half. Gonzalez can't drain that one, but there's Taylor Jones to begin half number two. Yeah, it looked like Princeton was starting out in his zone defense, a little 2-3 zone. Texas doing a nice job of getting the ball up, and Taylor Jones with those long arms again doing damage. Jones with four points and seven rebounds in 11 minutes. Meanwhile, one of the star players from Princeton, Ellie Mitchell, the nation's leading rebounder, in foul trouble with three already. And only a couple of rebounds. The storyline to keep track of. Shot clock at five for the Tigers. Chen kicks it out wide. Stone from the corner, switches it. Can get hot and get going and get, get uh, Princeton back into this game. With they can execute like that. Stone entered this game shooting 50% from downtown, 9 of 18. And she's moved back to her natural three position this year, looking better, I think, on the perimeter. Under 10, Mitchell with a pump fake. That one too strong off the iron. Princeton cannot buy a bucket. 7 for 30 from the field. Morris over to Moore. Quick pass down low to Taylor Jones. Excellent dip. We talked about last year, even in the tournament, they were down by double digits on a couple of different occasions and were able to come back, win the game against Kentucky, be in the game against Indiana. This is a team that will continue to play. Princeton has forced 13 Texas turnovers as Harmon goes glass. Field pull up jumper just inside the line with a miss. Mitchell ripped that one down. Good defense by Cunningham. She's got about four or five inches on Rory Harmon, able to get those hands up. Chen slicing the defense. Caitlin Chen. And this year, the, the players that are better free throw shooters are getting to the free throw line, at least in this game. Texas outscoring Princeton in the third quarter, 10 7. But again, the Tigers having to work for every single offensive opportunity. Cunningham buries one from downtown. We need to knock them down. We just need to do that. Nine-point game. Princeton now six for 12 from behind the arc. Texas with only one three, but still up by nine. Muhammad over the corner to Holly. Harmon pull-up jumper. Feeling it. Were you surprised that Lindsay Whalen? Absolutely not. First time on the ballot. She was a tremendous player. Got a chance to call her games when she was in college at Minnesota. And uh, she was unbelievable. At the high school, college, and pro level. She's limited uh, two days ago. Uh, pretty much full practice yesterday. Uh, she looked really, really good. I just think she's just being patient, letting herself get into a flow. She's a little bit less explosive, but I think that's just because she's, you know, letting the game come to her. Harmon goes to her left, pull-up jumper, and one! 
That's the one. You have to stay disciplined. You do not want a team like Princeton to get extra opportunities. Oof. Caitlin Chen. Shot clock at 10. Gonzalez to her right, then to her left. Goes Glass. Having trouble getting it to fall, but there is Taylor. Princeton right now on a scoring drought of three minutes. Oh, for their last four from the field. Nice. Chen. <laughs> And one, Caitlin Chen, and Morris on the floor for the Longhorns. Gonzalez has that one poked away. Another turnover for the grad transfer, and Cunningham finishes. Ray Stone, Wenentanda in her face, and pickpocket by the freshman Wenentanda just took it right away from Gwen Stone. Feeds Gaston, and in. Goes around and out. Yeah, the length of Texas has really been bothersome for Princeton today. Every time they get looks in the paint, there's always a big body, long arms in there. When it's time to go in baseline, and somehow... I think it's a great teaching game for Barubi. I think she wanted to take her team uh, on the road as you see turnovers and points off turnovers today. She wants them to experience uh, an arena that's loud, similar to what Indiana was last year. I want to say they're seven and one right now, but they started the season really, really well. Uh, Fernandez does a terrific job coaching that team, and they're always really tough to play against. And I'm just going to do coach speak here. They're just looking at the next game, okay? And that's the next game, and I think it's important for them to not overlook games like that going into the uh, Princeton hasn't been able to figure out a way to alleviate that pressure. They tried going back door. They've had a couple of good looks. That's a nice look right there by St. Rose. You know, you look at that team the first year, he had seven players play. Good steal here by St. Rose. Taking this one in, 61-42. Patty Fay down low, working as that one blocked. Back the other way, Nowacki. Gonzalez in front of her face. And Texas up to 82% from the free throw line there. Baseball pass down the court to Madison St. Rose. And Rory Harmon is back on the floor. <laughs> Good box out. We talked about Texas's two and three record and how much it mattered without Rory Harmon. There still has yet to be. Oh, what a no look pass for Rory Harmon to Hattie Faye. It's really about who's starting later in the season, who finishes games. But that's my story. That's a good point. Texas went 14 and 1 down the stretch once Holly became a starter. So it'll be interesting to see if she does re enter the starting lineup. Final minute and a half of this one. Texas by 18. Harmon the lob. Morris. They sat on her defensively. And she made. This one launched from outside by Chen. Texas comes up with it. The Longhorns on the day, shooting 51%, holding Princeton to 16 for 55 from the field. There's Amina Muhammad. Everybody chipping in now. And just terrific presence, really, by Sonia Morris, who we talked about her shooting ability offensively. Handling the pressure. Final. 20 seconds or so of this one tapped out of bounds by Texas. Harmon with 11 and more with 10. Hattie Faye, another one! The 6 4 transfer from Texas Tech joined the block party and the fans rise to their feet here at the mood. Rory Harmon is back and the Longhorns. Even their record at three and three with a 74 to 50 win over the Princeton Tigers. I thought it was a tremendous job by Texas on the interior. They did a really, really nice job of controlling the paint. And then how about having Roy Harmon back in the lineup? So much more composure for this Texas team with her at the helm.